I just want to let you know uh, uh, this video is regarding the eviction I had today. Um, uh, please don't take the tone of my voice. Um, there were some things that were said prior, just seconds before me starting to record when she came back that uh, um, I, I, in the video it sounds like me being just an absolute prick about it. But you have to understand, I've been in this for 30 years. I've dealt with some of the meanest people and some of the nicest people when it comes to evictions. You have to be firm up front to the point with people when it comes to being evicted. Because they, uh, the, the, you got to understand, man, they've, they've gone two months without paying rent. Uh, this circumstance, she went a couple months without paying rent. Plus, the court bailiff messed up, and she got an extra 15 days before we got before we set her out. So, she got more than ample time to get her stuff out for her to wait around. And what she did was, when we were waiting on the bailiff to show up, I went down to check the door to see if you know the bailiff had, had tagged it because they always tag it like 24 hours prior to move out. Um, to see if the tag was there and she had been there taking the tag off the door and put her own little handwritten note on the door saying I've got COVID see what I'm saying so don't take her demeanor or her posture as I'm innocent and I'm weak I'm helpless I mean it's, it's still got my heart man but you know I'm just to the point, and I and I even, if you watch the whole video, you'll see that I even gave her even more time, a couple more minutes. I didn't want her to be, you know, totally without her meds or whatnot ever. So, anyways, and I was in a hurry. I had a whole bunch of stuff to do. The manager didn't even want to, uh, didn't even want to give her that time to come back and get her stuff. So, it is what it is, guys. So please, like I say, please don't take it as, as me being uncaring. It's just the tone of voice and how I carry myself with some some circumstances. So enjoy the video, man. I'll do some more video on this because we we gonna have to have it trashed out. And that's all trash, man. That's McDonald's and all kinds of food bags. You can see all the cups sitting on the countertops. It's all full of liquid, so. It's going to be a mess, man. I'll uh, see you guys later. Well, enjoy the video, bud. Have a good day. Out today, set out is eviction that has refused to leave the property or whatnot ever. It's not turned in their keys, whatever. Meet the bailiff there, set them out on the curb. Don't give a crap what's in the apartment, man. Let's do this. Hello? Here's Clint. Hello. Come on, got me a little TV. We're <laughs> gonna have to make sure that the uh, windows are locked. Okay. Gotta check the kitchen. <clears throat> Well, if she has COVID, then all right. She's not in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ew. That's nasty, man.
Windows. What's that? Do we have to check Windows? I forget where she's freaking at. Huh? She can't fit in there. She's in front of the door. Is the bailiff gone already? I guess so. Cool. So. Bedroom. Wow. I can't believe people live like this, man. People live like this it's beyond me. I give you the freaking heebie jeebies back there, man. That's nasty. No, no, I turned it off. Cool beans. She's locked, bro. That yeah, took a yeah. minute. That back room was the worst. Yeah. I'll just call the attorney to lock it. My you gotta set this he picked out. Or I mean she's come back to pick up some stuff, so we'll see how this goes down. What is your name? Don Thomas. Don Thomas, you have five minutes. Five minutes only. Get your stuff, get out. Get right now and get up. Your medicine, yeah. anything, I'll give you exactly five minutes. You've already been evicted off the property, okay? This this is trespassing. Well, okay. I have the right to my possessions too. So. Not now. That's fine. I don't have a problem letting you, letting you get your medicine and stuff, okay? You got five minutes. <clears throat> and I have to record it due to legal. That's the only reason why I'm recording it. Okay.
I really do feel sorry for him, man. I really do. He should have been paid the money in two months. So. And we got to trash this down. I'm sorry. Who do I contact about getting the rest of my personal Your personal belongings will be at the trash can. They will they will bag it up and set it at the trash can. I can't tell you when. I don't know when they'll do it. Probably within the next couple of days, probably first of the week. They'll bag every bit of your stuff and set it at the trash can. They have to for twenty four hours and then it gets hauled off. Uh, uh, you still got a couple minutes. I'm, I'm not being, you know, a prick about it. I just got other things to do. She went out through the car. I'm not trying to be a child's been sick, so. Yeah. I don't know. It's, you ain't the first rodeo. I've been doing this for 30 years. Right now I'm having yeah. some serious infections, so. Yeah. You got a place to go? You got a place to stay nope. and live? No. Nope. Really? You got a job? Yep, it can be. Yeah, as far as it, like I said, as far as this goes, I don't, I I don't know. They're not going to sort anything out. They're just going to put it in boxes or bags and put it by the trash can. I don't know if you go, you know, if you're going to try to come get your stuff or something like that. I mean, I could send you a text or let you know, hey, they're setting your stuff out on this day. Yeah, but you can't be going through it in the parking lot, you know. You have to take it with you, take it off the property to, in order to sort it out, you know what I mean? Because they don't know, nobody knows what is your personal belongings versus 
McDonald's trash bag. You know what well, I mean? So I I know, but the I somebody might be attached to a fuzzy bear Those versus are trash can. You know what I mean? Like anything except for yeah. garbage is the stuff that I want to be notified when it's moved out so I can come get it. Okay. Well, I'll I'll see what I can do for you. Okay. At least I I mean I could have them come trash it out. Just get trash. Just get trash. And then have them come back and bag everything else up and put it by the trash. I'll, I'll do what I can for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then again, you'll only have you'll only have X number to come and get it. You know. Yeah. I don't know where you're gonna put it. So. All right. You need a couple more minutes. Um, now, when you text, just so you know, when you text, mm -hmm. I don't get that. It doesn't notify me. Okay. I actually have to go looking for it. Okay. So, if you text and it's two hours later well, before I, you'll know why. I, I'm not ignoring you. It, it takes I, a while. I don't. So, yeah, because this is on the computer system and I actually have to go on and, and look for it. So, I can't always check my phone. Right, right. You want a couple more minutes? No problem. Give grace, give grace is given. Okay, do what you got to do now. Yeah, I got about another three more minutes. Now I got to run down the street. Just take a deep breath. You know, know trying to find, you know what I'm saying? Well, I Scatter brain, just take a deep breath. And... Well, right now, I'm back. I have to check my throat myself because I can't put it in the Right, right. And I just got to move to that. Yeah. 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 Yep. They're all over the place.
I will. I will. Send her out here from Manette on when they're going to come to it. I, she's already got rented out. So I, there's like little to no time. I don't know when she's got to rent it out for. So they're not going to play around as far as as far as the uh, trash out goes. They'll, they'll get it out and I'll let you know. I'll give you, it, I'll try to give you at least a day's notice. Okay. But the thing is, is once it hits the curb out there by that dumpster, there's no telling what's going to happen. He could have every freaking trash picker in the city up here. Never know. But I'll let you know, okay? You know, I, uh, it breaks my heart, man. You have to look at the situation, man. That one way ain't got nowhere to go. She's going to sit out on the curb. She just, she just got set out on the curb, man. You know? Yeah, I know her place is nasty, you know, and I know it's her own fault for not paying her rent, but it's still heartbreaking, man. You got somebody just got set out on the street, got nowhere to go now. At her age, she's homeless. She won't be able to get another another apartment because what happens is, is now she owes us money, plus to clean out the back rent or electric bill all this stuff is combined and she won't be able to get another place unless she's got that debt paid off which when she goes to find an apartment they run a background check on apartments and if you've got an eviction man nobody will rent to you I mean it, it really does break my heart man because we're all we're all one paycheck, man, for me to set out on the curb. Now you think about, just think about that, man. If you lost your job tomorrow, where would you go? Think about it, man. Pray for that woman. That's all we can do.